cool. You made it. So good to see you. So I got some more things to show, share with you this week. But again, remember, this we have a shop to support this channel, not advertising or sponsorship or Patreon. We just got a shop and we have cool stuff like templates and books and these awesome t-shirts so go over to the shop and check it out if you'd like to support us otherwise just like subscribe watch our videos it's all good so i am i am wearing i am wearing my stole it off a dead rock star jacket as what one of my students called it they said, Miss, it looks like you stole that jacket off a dead rock star. Yeah. Um, and I'm wearing my stole it off a dead rock star jacket because <laughs> I've got that relates to what we're talking about today. Today. Now, I think most people will have noticed if they watch this channel a bit that most of what we read here and recommend is fairly highbrow. And as a result, I'm guessing maybe people want to know what I want to read when I want something a bit trashy because I don't read genre fiction really at all. So what is my really guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure, my big fat guilty pleasure is rock biographies. I love me a good rock biography. You know, so I thought today I would bring you some of my favorite rock biographies. So let's start. Let us start at the top here. This is this is actually one of my oldest ones. Uh, this isn't my original copy, but this is one of the first rock biographies I ever got on John Lennon. It's it's really good. It is a really good biography. Um, it's by Ray Coleman. Ray Coleman is somebody who had written about the Beatles for a long time. It's a big, chunky book. Very, very, I don't know that it's in print. I had to get it secondhand. Um, but absolutely a great one on John Lennon, if you like John Lennon. John Lennon isn't actually my favourite Beatle. When I, the I my favourite Beatle is George. And one of the things of being a George fan for a very long time is you had to read other people's biographies and look up in the back George Harrison to find any George Harrison stuff but and I did I did spend a lot of time with that but this is uh one of my favorite ones on John Lennon I read this cover to cover when I got it I think I read it more than once really good one uh the next one is on the doors and it's by Mick Wall. Mick Wall is a really, I, I have several books by Mick Wall. I have one on Led Zeppelin and I have one on Jimi Hendrix. He is a really, really, really good rock biographer. Now the, this book about the doors is a much better book than the one most people have read, which is by Sugarman, who claims a whole load of stuff, but he really wasn't there. This one is much better researched. It's very, very good. And it's very, very readable. Um, that is one of the things that you'll find with, with rock biographies, is some of them are complete garbage. Just, just utter, utter garbage. Finding good ones can be hard. But it's worth it when you find one, and I cannot recommend Mick Wall's writing 
highly enough because it's so good. Uh, next one I have is this one about Janice. Yeah, you know what Janice St. Joplin and I have in common? Yeah, both of us, favorite beetle, George. Yeah, that name. But Janice. Um, this one is one that is actually written by a woman, which you don't find very often in rock biographies, just as you don't find that many women of this period, the 60s uh, period, there weren't that many women in rock. There was Janice and there was Grace Slick, and there weren't many others. But this is a is a really great book. A lot of people complain because they, it it I, I read a lot of I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I read a lot of men who were a bit cheesed off that their lovely um, concept of Janice got like blown to smithereens. <laughs> but this one is a really great book. I really enjoyed this. Uh, Janice comes across as a thoroughly multifaceted and interesting, fascinating, intelligent woman who was just taken far too early because it turns out heroin, not a recreational drug. Just so you know, absolutely not a recreational drug. And finally, finally, because, and we can we can thank the hipsters I think for this because <laughs> hipsters there there is no it, it, John was just too too much for most hipsters he's too out there Paul oh, you gotta love Paul like you really do but he's Paul he's always had that image of being Paul I think mostly tainted by the really really shoddy editing that went into Let It Be that made him look like a naggy sourpuss that when you watch Get Back, you can see how much he totally isn't. He comes across so much cooler. That uh, Two people got rehabilitated by Peter Jackson. One was Yoko. Two was Paul. Michael Lindsay Hogg did a hatchet job on both of them. So, but so for for most to, most people, Paul is not someone that they instantly go to. So they went for George, George, and so we finally, finally, finally got a biography of George Harrison. Which, if you're a true believer and a long time George fan, you had to thumb your way through Paul and John biographies to get anything about George. Whole book on George. I mean, awesome. So cool. And Scorsese did a documentary on George. There you go. So some George love. Um, I don't know that it's the greatest of biographies. However, it is a biography of George and we haven't had one of those. Thank you, hipsters. But you don't know the real pain of being a true George fan. But it does mean I could get George in a book and on a t-shirt so that that ladies and gentlemen is my very big guilty pleasure is rock biographies so whenever i want something that is light and that i can just read as though it's a newspaper i go for rock biographies um i have i have tons of them this is just a like four of my favorite ones I'd also recommend Pete Townsend's um, autobiography, Keith Richards. <gasps> Keith Richards' autobiography is so good. You wouldn't think it. I mean, because it's Keith. <laughs> but that is really good. Uh, the Sun, the Moon and the Rolling Stones is another really good one. Uh, Roger Daltrey's biography, his, his not biography, his um, memoirs. Um, are really good. Uh, don't expect too much in terms of revelation from Roger Daltrey because he just doesn't give much away. Uh, there are some great books on Queen. 
There, I have read the book. I have read the big salacious one on Led Zeppelin, as well as the Mick Wall Led Zeppelin. The Mick Wall Led Zeppelin is so much better. But the big salacious one is the is the, is the one if you want all the really ridiculous gossip. Um, I also, so I, I I also I have a copy of Grapefruit. I've got a couple of biographies of Yoko. I've got many of John, multiple of Paul, multiple of John, multiple of the Beatles. Um, so, yeah, that's what I do when I'm not reading the highbrow stuff. I'm reading trashy rock biographies. So I just thought I'd share that with you. So peace and love. And if you want to share your trashy read down below, be my guest. I'll see you again later. Bye. If you would like to support this channel, come across to the Black Cocky Press website, www.blackcockypress.com.au, where you will find books and other writing services to help with your writing.